What you're looking at is an air admittance valve. It's basically a one-way check valve and it sits under sinks. Um, it's part of the plumbing situation. If you have an island with a sink, it probably has one of these. Uh, in mobile homes, manufactured homes, you're gonna find these as well. Uh, most of your uh, tubs will tie into the sink for venting. But uh, this sits underneath the sink. Here's a sink right here. And what happens over time is these things go bad. The air admittance valves go bad. And um, I talked to the owner and he said he has never changed this out. And this, there's a, basically a rubber seal in there that goes bad and lets really bad foul odors back through. When the water comes through, runs down the pipe, uh, this, is, uh, this helps um, stop it from creating a vacuum. And uh, what happens over time, the seal goes bad and doesn't seal correctly and lets stinky, nasty odors come back out. So if you're smelling stinky, nasty odors, you might think it's mold or something dead underneath your house or under your sink. Check this first before calling a plumber. So uh, these should be only hand tight, which this one is. Pull that out. So there, that's what it looks like. Let me get a measuring tape. Let me get a measuring tape. I want to show you guys what the size of it is. One and three quarters. So to replace it, you can pick this up on Amazon. It's about uh, twenty-two dollars, I think, if I remember correctly. Uh, a mini vent air admittance valve by Studor. 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 And the model number is 20341. I'll put a link in the description below. But uh, yeah, this this is the replacement for it. So let me pull it out. So if you need it, it comes with an adapter. If you need to go from a two inch to a uh, half inch, one and a half inch. Well, that's two and a half inches right there. So if you needed to go from a, a larger pipe into a smaller one, it comes with this adapter plate. But I don't need that. This will actually line up perfectly with the old black one right here. Lines up perfectly. The threads, if you want to check threads, go ahead and place on top of each other. They should line up. And uh, it's a direct fit replacement for, for this generic one that everybody is accustomed to. And um, yeah, after 10, 15 years, these things just fail. So, really easy. If it was more than hand tight, if this is more than hand tight, you can always go get yourself a pair of crescent crescent wrench and pull it out that way. And uh, if you need to get an adapter, you could just slice it off here, put the new adapter on, make sure you use PVC glue and tape it in. But uh, yeah, just gonna replace this. Not hard, gonna use some Teflon tape. Just put some on the threads. Just went around, put some Teflon tape on it right here. And gonna screw it back down nothing to it like I said earlier this should be done only hand tight if you're getting stinky nasty odors down here underneath your sink or just smelling bad always check this first this is a lot lot more inexpensive fix than calling a plumber so okay so that's in place it's late at night right now so um, I'll come back in the morning check and make sure that it doesn't smell bad at all run the sink a couple times. I'll let you know the outcome, see if it fixed it. So stay tuned. It's been about 15 hours and uh, the smell is gone. So it's the next day and I replace this old black one, with the new Studador, link in description. But uh, yeah, it fixed the problem. Awful smell is all gone. Air admittance valve. Just change out your air admittance valve and uh, you'll be good to go. What you're looking at is an air admitted admittance. I can say that. What you're looking at is an air admitted admittance admittance.